So I want to talk to you guys a little bit about not having spacers. I'll tell you this much right now. I had spacers that were one inch, uh, one inch thick spacers. They're actually adapters so I could put on Jeep wheels. And first off, I did it. I, the reason I got those is because I like. There's a lot more options for Jeep wheels. Let's just be real. There's way more options. Um, but with that, with coming coming with more options, I needed an adapter. So I get the adapter as well as Jeep wheels for like 150 bucks. And then, well, like I get the Jeep wheels for like 150 bucks. And then I got the adapters for, I think, I think I got four of them for 175 bucks off of Amazon or eBay or something, but they weren't hub centric, uh, adapters. So they didn't have the ability to center the wheels. I've been driving like that for probably a year, at least a year. Um, and when I first got them, I was like, you know what? Not gonna be a big deal. I can definitely do what I need to and I'm not worried about it. But I will say, after driving from Alaska to here and doing the off-roading and, and everything, I was starting to get a little bit annoyed with the shake in the steering wheel. And let me tell you, I just got the black Rhino Boxer wheels. They're uh, they don't they're not as aggressive, right? So they don't stick out past the fender as much. But I will tell you what, totally totally worth it. Before I would have a little shimmer from the adapters, and there was a lot of other reasons I was getting shimmering that narrowed them down to the wheels. Put these these. Uh, wheels on and let me tell you what smooth like it's smooth it's more quiet it doesn't feel like everything's gonna rattle apart now when I was off-roading it didn't make a big big difference on that right um, with the vibration stuff you're not going fast enough for one and two you're bouncing around anyway so it didn't make a big deal but after having these on I should say it didn't feel like there was a, it was a big deal. After putting these wheels on, I have the same tires, everything's the exact same setup. I just changed the wheels that are hub centric and everything. Eons difference, worlds of difference. Um, driving down the freeway, handling's better. Um, and then on top of that, it's like, I, I don't know what to, how to explain it, but it's just, Everything seems more secure. Everything seems tighter, right? It seem, it just seems like it's more solid and uh, it's, the ergonomics of it are actually working the way they should. I went on a small off-road trail yesterday. This is where I got all these drone shots from. And I mean, it was pretty bumpy. Before, it would have been a lot of tossing back and forth and a lot of this and that. But man, with the, the way it's set up now, being tires are brought in, wheels are closer under, you know, under the truck, the suspension's working more effectively. Man, like, I can't tell you how much of a difference it has made in everything. It's way more comfortable to ride, even off-road, and I didn't even know that was a thing. So, I'll tell you what, the way your truck is set up, so much difference when it comes to just wheels and how wide they are and narrow they are. It is amazing. The consensus is avoid adapters if you can. If you don't have aftermarket struts on your ridge line, you won't be able to get as large of a tire on there due to the lower perch. But if you get some aftermarket struts, you will be able to upgrade those and not have to worry about adapters. So let's say this lower perch right here, 
this is stock ridge line it'd probably be about right here and so it'd be just slightly higher but it would also be sticking probably all the way out to about right here so it would definitely be hitting these are 285 70 17 tires um, so this would definitely be hitting I wanted to show you that because this is a positive 15 offset with no spacers and those with stock struts will not be able to fit this size due to just the lower strut itself without getting new struts and then doing some major modification around here like I've cut the into the cab Let's see if you can see this a little better but I've cut into the cab and everything right here um, and it's still extremely close Let's see if I can kind of block the sun for you um, but it's still extremely close to to it so um, doesn't rub anymore but it is close if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe